welcome back to my channel today um, and welcome to all of you who join me in this video today for the first time. So as you might have seen uh, on the thumbnail of this video, today I want to give you a little bit of an update of my planner system. Maybe it can give you some uh, tips or some ideas how you can make your system a little bit more effective and working for you. So I've got my coffee here. It's a very, very gray um, Wednesday morning today. So I had to bring out my um, studio lights. And yeah, so I'm going to do this video um, with probably not the most amount of preparation, but uh, I hope you can take something with you. So you see, I have a lot of planners here. Um, all my um, covers are from Gileo. Um, I admit I'm a huge fan of this company. I love their letters. I love their planners. The quality is great. Yes, they are a little bit pricey, um, but um, you will have fun and uh, enjoy them a very, very long time. So every now and then I do the splurge and um, yeah, purchase one. Um, most of these are premium good deal items, uh, which means that uh, Chilio has their quality um, people uh, checking for any flaws. And uh, if there is some minor, minor, micro imperfection to the planner, then it's um, a premium good deal. And uh, actually um, this A6 Apunto was um, a good deal. So it was a little bit rough. Um, the letter was um, not very smooth on the back side. Um, and um, yeah, but it has smoothed out since I have used it. I've also got some stains on it. I have no idea where it came from, but uh, yeah, with the lighter colors you have to live with that they will get stained. They will develop a very nice patina. As you can see, there is the, um, where the popper is uh, and where I tend to press down, um, it's a little bit darker on the spot. All the lighter colors will get that, I guess. But um, guys, this leather smell is heaven. Okay, so I wanted to give you an update on my planners. So um, I have um, something which are directly related to this year's planning system and some things that are not quite well, not as yet. So um, in the middle, we have the stack, which I'm using at the moment with the addition of this uh, B6 uh, Stalogy. Um, this is my journal. Uh, I've been using this journal since, um, I guess it was about March 2019. And you can see I'm already halfway through. So this um, journal will last me for some months. I'm not going to uh, go into detail in here very um, quickly. I have nothing in the pockets. It's just a notebook with uh, a cover from uh, Lauren Phelps Designs. And um, in the back, there's also nothing. So it's quite functional. Just me writing down my thoughts and um, recording some things that happened. Yeah, quite journaling. So I will set this one aside. And by the way, this is the um, purple epoca leather. And um, I will get to these um, in a bit. Uh, let's focus on these three. So um, I have an A5 Companion, I have a personal white Companion, and I have an A6 Apunto. So um, how my system works is I am... Um, a very um, goal-oriented person. Um, on October 1st, I started my own IT consulting business. And if I find time, I design some inserts for my own planners, which I um, make available for download in an Etsy shop and on my website, on my planner blog. 
So I will pop the links down uh, in the description box in case you want to check them out. Um, so I have these two companions here. And one is for my personal things and one is for work or company related things. So that's the first um, separation I make with my things. They are both set up very similar to each other but not quite. So let's start with the A5 Campania first. Um, I'm not a bit huge uh, decorator. Let's just check me if I'm in screen. Um, I just keep some stamps in here and I have some sticky notes and uh, business cards um, uh, in the top pocket. I have uh, nothing on my letter fly leaf except for this Ollie clip. Uh, I have a little bit of dashboard I made um, and then we go into the sections. So I will not go into depth uh, because otherwise this video will, would be uh, way too long. So um, the way my system works is I have a goal section in, in my planners um, where I have my yearly, quarterly, monthly and then uh, down to... Um, weekly, but I haven't um, printed them for the A5 for yet. So how I plan my things is all personal and home related things like uh, travel, home projects. I have my budget section in here and I have a little bit of a reference section for information that I want to keep at hand, but don't need on an everyday basis. So what I, I do is uh, each uh, year I sit down in, in uh, the beginning of the year and um, write down which uh, goals I want to uh, achieve. So um, I can show you uh, because I already filled it out, but um, I have an empty uh, version of, of the insert in my personal, so it's, it's quite the same. So everything that's personal uh, related, home related, travel related, goes into this planner for long term planning. So this is where I um, say, okay, at the beginning of the year, uh, we um, maybe so for next year, we want to renovate our patio. Uh, so this is one of the projects and one of the projects refers to a goal. So my goal is to have a nice patio. And then I sit down and say, okay, for this year, I want to renovate uh, my patio. And uh, in, the quarter of, in the first quarter of the year, what are the objectives? What do I need to do or what do I want to have uh, accomplished or done in order to reach this goal? I mean, renovating the patio is for me uh, a little bit of a smaller project. My patio is six square, feet, square meters, so it's quite small, but yeah. Uh, just to give you an idea. And then I break down my yearly uh, things down to the border, down to the um, month. And then in the month, I have uh, my next actions for each um, objective or project I want to work on. So this is the planner which I use for uh, my personal and home stuff. And then um, let's move this aside without spilling the coffee. <laughs> That would be great. Coffee on my Chilios. Ha <laughs> ha. So uh, very similar to this is my uh, personal white. Uh, this one is the olive green. And I tell you, this is by far my most favorite color um, of the Chilios I own. So um, I just keep some uh, business cards from my company in here. I don't have any um, thing on here. Also a little bit of the fly leaf and the dashboard. And then we have the sections. The first one is notes. The second one is calendar. The third one is marketing things. Then I have uh, a section for my planner shop. I also am the editor of a travel blog. And the last section is my expenses. So, and in the calendar section, I have my um, my goal insert, and here it is. And this is the same insert I am using uh, in my A5, but in the A5 I have the um, 
insert already filled out. And on um, this one, I just printed for next year because, yeah. So that's that's um, how it's uh, going to look. You have your year, so it's undated. You can use it any year. I have my annual goals. I have uh, some uh, space to write down any dates, like milestones, deadlines, events, or some, some things. And then for each quarter, I have space for five objectives. So I have 10 go annual goals. I want to reach but I'm not necessarily working on each of them the whole year so I have smaller ones which I want to get done in the first or second quarter and then I have uh, other ones I maybe will start in the third quarter so um, we have five things per uh, quarter to do and then it goes into the quarterly overview where we have eight of the annual goals um, I put in eight in here because I tend to work on more than one uh, project or more more than five, um, so I can narrow it down from the ten down to eight, the most important ones, and then I have my five where I want to work on in the first quarter. And again, I have uh, date uh, and milestone, uh, some information like events or something I can put in here. And then for each month, I have five objectives or things, big chunks of work I want to get done uh, reflecting from the quarter. And I have a space to write down any notes um, after the quarter is done. And then for each month, I have a monthly page where I have my five quarter objectives. You see, uh, it's the same one as here, but I like to have them in view so that I don't have to flip the pages. And then I have my January objectives, some um, grid space to put any notes or whatever. And then I have broken down um, five next actions for each objective. And if I need more space, I can always use this or put in a sticky note or whatever. So um, this way I can uh, structure my uh, things I want to get done from annual. To quarterly and then down to monthly and then I can uh, have my concrete next action so these are the, the things that I then uh, use uh, during my um, monthly and weekly review to pull from uh, in order to get things done so I have all the months in here from March and after March it's the quarter two and so on and so on and this system quite works well for me um, I um, this year I just used these inserts in my a5 but since I'm now starting my own company I need something uh, just for my company and business related stuff because otherwise I have too many things uh, I want to work on so um, yeah for marketing I have just um, notes um, and some um, basically on, on grid paper. I have my uh, social media planner. Um, I have some um, codes. I have my um, colors, which I use often. I have lined paper to write down any outlines for articles, blog posts, webinars, kind of that stuff. And it's the same for uh, my planner shop and uh, my travel blog. And the expenses section is quite just some plain um, notebook uh, pages uh, I had. So this is actually a misprint, So, but I didn't want to waste it, so I put it in here. So um, this is how my, my long-term planning is set up. So I have my uh, work and business-related things in here and I have my personal things in here and when I sit down for my uh, quarterly or my monthly and weekly review I then uh, pull the things from uh, the next actions and task lists and then this one comes into uh, display so each week um, I um, have a double page where I put in all the events and all the things I want to do next week. And then I use uh, two pages per day just to write down any uh, appointments, tasks, notes, 
anything that happens on this day, ideas I might have or something. And um, yeah, this is what the A6 uh, stylus is, is used for. But for next year, I will not use the A6. Um, I will change it up a bit. So let's move this aside. And this is what this comes into play. So for next year, I had said, okay, I want to have something small uh, to use this cover with because um, I love it so much. And uh, it's the perfect size A6 for me to take with me when I'm out and about. So uh, when I'm out and I, let's say I'm at the hairdressers or maybe um, getting a pedicure or something, then I want to be able to uh, make the next appointment. So I need a calendar and this is what I got. It's from uh, Moleskine and it is their A6 um, weekly um, calendar. So it's just uh, the weekend two pages. It's already dated and this is enough for me to make any appointments uh, when I'm out and about and I can just use this uh, and uh, throw it in the purse uh, or I will most probably do it and put it into the binder. Um, I uh, tapped the month since um, there is no monthly page in between um, so that I can quite quickly find um, the page where the, the first is on. So in this case we have here, I have already put some notes in like uh, when this, this week is um, school holiday week. So not a good time to go skiing in Austria because the slopes are very full. So um, I will just use this to um, note any appointments. Um, the monthly calendar, and this is a bit of a downside for me, is very small. So we have the month uh, on one page, but I'm uh, already thinking about getting um, or designing maybe uh, an insert, which I can then tip in for uh, a month on, on two page with uh, some flip or some um, fold out page. So yeah, this is where what I want to keep with me when I'm out and about and everything else, my daily plans and my um, notes and my weekly task list and everything else will go in here. And this is the an A5 Stellogy and I've already prepped it a bit. I'm just waiting on some supplies. So I will use this and maybe I will use one uh, page per day. We'll see how this works. Um, so yeah, this one will stay at home because it's quite, um, large, but the, uh, A5 Apunto is a little bit slimmer than the, uh, A5 Compagna. So you can see it's quite, well, I'd say it's about an inch. Um, so, uh, I hope that this system will, uh, help me, uh, get, um, or keep my, <laughs> my things on track. And yeah, so if you have any questions about anything in my system, please leave them uh, down in the comments below. And um, yeah, I will update you once I uh, change anything. I plan to do a setup video for my A5 Stellogy once uh, this one is um, fully used. So you can see I have quite some pages left. So I hope to get this. Uh, through the end of the year that I can start the A5 in January, but we'll see. Um, and yeah, thanks you for watching. And if you like this content, then I would love uh, to count you in as one of my subscribers. And yeah, see you next time. Bye.